Hello everybody and welcome back to my Ark Survival Evolved playthrough. Where last time I finally have actually tamed a fucking uh, Quetzal. Legitimately. Which is incredible. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called... Uh, r slash realm hq other than that back to your regularly scheduled program because i never honestly thought i'd see the day with how fucking <sighs> no you know the best part about that this is the exact same quetzal that we initially attempted to tame Okay. Come on, trigger it. Yeah, this is the exact same Quetzal that we attempted to tame, and I had uh, just got so frustrated with. Oh, come on. Come on, you can open it. Is it simply because it's not? One I've opened before, so you're gonna give me shit. I know, I gotta read it in the fucking bed. Oh, you gained fucking four level ups. Stamina, and then we'll go with fucking something like move speed or stuff like that. Alright, well, let me get it up high so I can actually read the fucking note without having to worry. So that was, again, a May... No. Oh, fuck, I keep doing that. I think it's... I would assume it's like 17. No. It was showing a dino. 15? I think... Okay, maybe this one. I have finally found a beast that I cannot command. No, to call him a beast is not enough. He is a demon. I was stalking a pair of giant raptors, waiting for an opportunity to bring them into my pact when he tore through a tree line to steal their kill. He dwarfed even the giant raptors in size, and in fury, he surely has no equal in this world. When his toes bit, when his foes bit at him, his eyes glowed with hatred, and he struck with renewed vigor. I have never seen such terror. I, even I dare not challenge this creature. If I am the Beast Queen, and it is the Demon King. I don't know what the fuck she's referring to. I don't think it's you. I know it was a Mei Ling one, because it had big end stuff. Uh, I don't think it was you. Is it you? No. I'll read you anyway, just in case. When Helena arrived, I was constantly glancing in her direction, wondering just what she might be scribbling in that thick book of hers. Now I hardly notice her unless we're speaking. The questions haven't stopped, but thankfully there aren't always about things like animal feces. No, I have tired of read this one. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just the fact of the Demon King or something. I don't know. Alright. Up to Gamma. So what, again, we're going to be looking for is any T-Rexes and the Gigasaurus. I'm definitely glad, again, that we fucking finally tamed a fucking Quetzal. Like, legitimately, this has been the fucking hardest tame so far. And it's just mainly because it's just such a fucking difficult beast to exactly find. If it was something like, again, like a T-Rex or something, I would just fucking have it run at me or just go find some way to have it eventually come at me. I mean, literally, you saw me with the Carnos and the fucking UD. All I did was just fucking trank it and took the uh, hits because I have the incredible armor. This guy, I literally had to chase him down because he would not stop. And there was n there is no way to actively take him out of the air. Not unless I fucking screw around with getting 
like, I don't know, fucking brawn over there. It's relatively impossible. There's a mammoth. That's, I think, one of the panthers charging him. Yeah, that's a saber tooth. Rhino. The note, or the page did say that it, it was likely to get, or to find, one of, uh, or one of uh, the Giga here, as well as the Quetzals. What will be interesting is if I find another Quetzal, because it shouldn't be too hard to actually now tame another one. I don't actively intend to tame a second one, but if the chance uh, presents itself, it wouldn't be a bad idea to screw around with it. At the very least, again, my what is it? my priorities are right now just getting the war pack. Stuff like that. I think that's a spot over there for notes. I know there's a note. Yeah, you right there. It's this guy right here. I thought I already picked him up, but... Yeah. Ooh, ten levels, okay. I want speed. Fucking melee, and then weight would be a good one. Okay. I guess it's some just weird shelf. No, it's not. Okay, so this is a path, so we should start looking down this one, see if we can't find fucking any of the things I'm looking for. Not just the bird. I'm fighting some wolves. What are you? Oh, you're a rock. Okay. Uh, no, the saber tooth. Level 100, but I don't do. Should try to find again a fucking giga. Something. What are you? Okay. I might also look up specifically where T-Rexes spawn, especially higher level ones. Because the problem with the Gigas is that they're definitely more of one <clears throat> that you'll tame one of, and then otherwise you'll still fill out the ranks with just regular ones. So let me look that up. Rex... Spawn locations, island. I don't have to be specific about these ones. Because the main issue is the fact that fucking. Okay. It's gonna be either an RT. There's their Rex. Damn it, I just. Nope, it's not showing me. I'm gonna guess it's because it's not in desktop mode. Again, the T 
Comics. Okay. Oh, so we do have... Okay, so they don't spawn anywhere near where I am in terms of the Rexes. What about the Giga? Since I'm already looking at this one. The Gigasaurus. Ooh. So, okay. It's unlikely, but it's possible around these parts. It's more likely around the other spots. Where the fuck are you? Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna reach you in time. I can reach when the presence, though. It's a mammoth. Yeah. So essentially, it's saying over here would be more of where the gigas are. Head over to the other mountain. Because it says over here it's very likely. Oh, wait. Are these the caves? What if I don't include the caves? Yeah, it's still sad on the mountaintops. Actually, one that might spawn in really close to there. Actually, we could just straight up go to the Volcano Mountain. It seems there's a cave underneath the volcano that it keeps going like, Oh, it's under there. So let's just go over to the cave, or the volcano. T-Rex, I'm pretty sure the volcano is actually a decent spot for the Rex as well. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. Freaking. The other one's a decent one as well. Yeah, okay. So essentially the game is saying that there are two sp possible spots. Or there are multiple possible spots. So the Giga is likely around the actual interior of the fucking volcano. Whereas the um, Rex is more than likely on the outer. So yeah. Yeah, this this thing has a lot of stamina. I haven't had the land at all, and yet we're almost to the volcano. I haven't been here in a fucking while. So again, that's just all lava. There's nothing outright over here. Map wise, we are. Yeah. Let's see. How close is that guy? Not close at all. Okay. So let's go down the possible trails. The. There's a surprising lack of dinos this way, so I'm gonna... Let's see, go 
up, and then essentially just around. I'm thinking there is another note that I might have also missed. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it looks like if they're gonna be anywhere, they're going to be around this area. Means I should at least lower and Yeah, so decent spot looks to be around here. I'm just surprised because it definitely seems like there's a lot less fucking carno or carnivores than there are of just the other shit. And again, I don't remember ever really outright encountering both either a Gigasaur or a T-Rex on these treks, so that might also be something to know. Alright. Just a piece of obsidian. Is there anyone out there? No. Just so weird. It's probably just because the game's not outright loading in the area, but still. Yeah, I finally get a Quetzal and then everyone else decides Vominos? There's a doe. Finally getting some creatures to spawn in. Now there's the doe, there's also a couple of birds, so let's head down. At the very least, from what I can tell, they're not fucking all the way up. Which sucks, but, you know. Yeah, there's that doe. I don't know if it's four. Hmm. Ooh, what the fuck are you? Are you the kangaroo? Yes, you're the kangaroo. Okay. That's another doe. What's down there? Is that a bird? Scorpio. Let's go. Let's land right here. Yeah, looks like just some scorpions. I'm gonna say we should probably hit up the spot I was otherwise thinking about. It seems the mountains aren't gonna bring me any benefits. So, probably mainly because all the things. Are just all down at lower things. The only problem with that is that there's a lot of combing that has to be done. And I have an air creature. Ooh. Have I marked have I got that one? Hopefully. No, I have not. Okay, that's good. 
That's when we can go hit up. discovered that this creature is in fact so these are the conquests that I heard no. that way. Not a great first, though I've been received by the Iron Brotherhood. They didn't seem very pleased to see me. Especially when I mentioned the young well. That's a first. Add to that the rather deserted, gloomy state of their compound. And I'm starting to Pelovia Maxima perfectly embodies the element of Oh, space. these bastards. Though nectodopids such as Pelovia were once thought to be herbivores, I discovered that this creature is in fact a patient hunter of the most intelligent sort. After burrowing beneath the jungle floor, Pelovia enters a state of hibernation and can go extended periods without any food. When some unfortunate creature eventually wanders by, Pelovia bursts forth from the ground, tearing into its head and large canines before the victim can react. Though Pelovia is ill suited to the life of the world, its usefulness in staging an ambush or as a village guardian cannot be understated. With a tamed pack of Pelovia, one could assemble a literal organic minefield of deadly claws and teeth. However, any ambushes using Pelovia must be found as it will refuse to hide them if it says it's not. Ah, that's interesting. Definitely picking up some more notes, though. That's good. Ooh, that's something. What is that thing? That looks like an aloe. Yep, aloes. It's level 70, so it's not a bad pick. And we can pick it up, that's right, okay. Let's set up shop right here. Then I will go ahead and snipe it from here. was a miss. There we go. Come on, chase me up here. I'm sorry. Fuck, that was a miss. Fuck, that was a miss. Fuck, we're missing quite a bit. Taking quite a bit of hits. Okay, one down. I don't know if we're gonna be able to source the other one. We can, okay.
I think sadly it's gonna die. Let's go claim the one we do have. Fucking trank shots are very precious, to say the least. Inventory taming. That's very useful. Okay. I guess you only hit one, because you're... yeah. Alright, let's set it to Gamma 2. Let's keep going on the hunt. This is definitely very useful to actually keep track of teams. As well as hopefully be able to keep track of how long it will be before it actually goes. Oh shoot, yeah, the uh, meat really, uh, the prime meat literally jumped it. Now, uh, like, what? 93.8 Okay. I think what we're going to do, we're going to claim this one, take it home, and then probably just keep heading to the different mountains and just basically doing this over and over. Unless we can get like an actual legitimate pack of them. Either aloes, rexes, or whatever. That'd be a good idea.
It was especially going to be funny because, again, the Quetzal can pick up a fucking aloe. May not be able to pick up a Rex, but... Aloe? That's easy. That's easy! No, so I have to wait until it's fully tamed. So, yeah, which one was it? Was it the male or the female? It was the female, okay. I think I should go down with a certain amount and then we'll be able to pick it up. We'll rise to about 59. Sorry. That's the fun part. What am I at? 98. And there's like only 105 levels or so. Yes, there's only 100 levels. And then you can up it via the alphas. These guys. Which, yeah. I'll probably need to hunt down more of the alphas and stuff like that. But, I also would like to see. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Inventory. Stop tracking you. There we go. Alright. That barely affects her weight. That's good. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be funny because again, I get, I get the carry analysis. <laughs> Wait, were you the one that she claimed to be the demon king? That might be what it was. Look at the eyes. Red. I know she doesn't. She essentially classifies everything as a T rat or as a raptor because she doesn't outright know the names of the other ones. So yeah, that might be the case. Okay, uh, there were two spots. Yes, because, uh, okay, my, yeah, because even the spawn map even confirms that where they are. Also, the Predator Island wouldn't be a bad one to hit up as well. I think what we'll do, because the Predator Island's way closer than the other ones. So we'll go hit up to Predator Island, try to pick up what we can, and then yeah. I will say, I will need a squad for the caves, and I got, I got a couple of them, but I need to flesh it out more. I think the sad part is we're going to have to land. You may not weigh much, but me. Uh, yeah. Oh, may not wait much. Like, what is your max? No, other one. What's your max? You can carry 35. I'm definitely weighing you down, to say the least. 30. Fun part is, I think that there was, that's the cave right there that I was thinking about. Or that I was talking about in terms of some of the stuff, but it's not the lava cave. The lava cave is just way fucking off. That's why I was confused by it. Okay, I'm gonna drop you. You're gonna follow me. Otherwise, I'm gonna land right here. Well, that. <laughs> that was stupid. You'll be able to walk your own way and. So, not to mention we're not that far from it, so it won't be too much. Though this does bring up an interesting thing. I can start, I can bring up uh, some of the creatures without an elevator. Okay, I need to test you. Can you kill a fucking Thiza? Yeah, you can. Thank you. Oh, 
killed that. That was an idiotic choice. Kill it. Alright, you're gonna need to go kill these guys. What the? Okay, attack these guys. There you go. It's like, no! There we go. Wait. <laughs> I don't know if the game likes this or not, but if I could tell if this isn't funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> not too far, so this isn't exactly a bad predicament. <laughs> Hey, at the very least, he's not having the outright carry. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucking funny, though. Wait, what happens if I... Oh my god. <laughs> Let me level you up. <laughs> Let's see, stamina. Alright, we got... We got delivery to me. <laughs> Love the fact it just keeps uh, basically yelling in my ear, be like, "Hi, how's it going?" You know what might not be a bad idea? Because again, this is a platform shadow. Making a legitimate fucking like, oh god, like an actual like hunter base or stuff like that. Have I gone too far? No. Yeah, this is the fun part. I could totally deliver it up to there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to tell it to fucking go down. <laughs> I love the fact, again, it keeps just basically whispering sweet nothings in my ear. Oh, look! It's about to be a fight. Yeah, what did I tell you? There's about to be a fight. Are they all still covered? No, it looks like they aren't. Okay. Go so there.
Brown, come here. Also, all the narcos you got. Very useful. The mind wipe tonic. Yellow. just started a fight. Okay. God, could you imagine that? You just, like, see a bunch of fucking massive dinos. And your first instinct is just, I'm gonna fight him. I think this has been somewhat of an interesting episode. I do want to thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and we'll see you guys next video. Other than that, have a great day.